In this video series, I'm going to demonstrate how to configure, wire, and use the Pokies 57 CNC controller with Mach 4. Let's begin by downloading the Mach 4 CNC control software. You can go to the mocksupport.com website or you can go to buildyourcnc.com and just navigate to the software section and, and click on the title of the Mach 4 product. On the product page, you'll see a link to download the Mach 4 software. Once downloaded, open up the folder that contains this download. Since the download is an executable file, you can go ahead and just double click it and it will start the installation process. Accept the license agreement if you agree and I'm, I'm going to keep all the settings at default. If you don't need certain profiles like lathe or plasma, then go ahead and just unselect those since these are just profiles for different configurations and you can create new configurations later on. After the installation has finished, the wizard will show the final screen. I'm going to go ahead and keep the checkbox to launch the program immediately. At startup, you can see the profiles that were shown in the installation. This is where you can add your own profiles or select the profile that you wish to use. Select whether this is a private or public network you're on. And now that we know that we have successfully installed the program, I'm going to go ahead and close the program and download the plugins for the Pokies 57 CNC controller. The download link for the plugin can be found on the same product page. Click on the link and go ahead and open up this file. Since it's a zip file, it will automatically open its contents. It will open up into either the Windows Explorer or another program that opens up zip files. Extract these files into a known location. I'm using the desktop to make it really easy to find. And I'll create a new folder in the desktop so all of the files can be contained in a single folder on the desktop. Two of these files will serve as the plugins files and they'll need to be moved or copied into the plugins folder under the Mach 4 Hobby folder. If the installation folder was not changed, Mach 4 Hobby will be located in the C colon backslash. Open up the plugins folder and move or copy the two plugins files into the plugins folder. These two files are the Mach 4 Pokies plugin dot M4 PW and dot SIG. Go back to the buildyourcnc.com website and search for Pokies 57 CNC. Click on the product listing to navigate to the product page. You'll need to download the Pokies configuration and Poblox files. Once the download is complete, you can go ahead and immediately click on the file to start the installation of Pokies version 4.4.5 configuration or whatever the latest version that will be downloaded. Go through the standard installation wizard prompts. I'm going to keep everything at the default. And in this case, there's no need to start the program immediately since we're going to start wiring the power supply into the controller. This program will allow you to configure and control the Pokies 57 CNC controller. This controller is feature rich and there are many ways to control the controller, including through their own Poblox and through standard programming languages like C++ and C Sharp. The first wiring I'd like to do is to connect a power source to the Pokies 57 CNC controller. To do this, make sure that the jumper next to the USB port is jumpered so that an external power supply can be used. The power supply that I'm using is a 24 volt, 1 amp power supply. The V plus and the V minus terminals on the power supply will be used to connect to the Pokies 57 CNC controller. For clarity, I'm not going to mount these devices for this demonstration, nor will I be adding spade terminals to the ends of the wires. If you are doing this in your setup, it is recommended that you add spade terminals to the end of your wires for the connection to the power supply. I'm connecting a red wire to the V plus and a black wire to the V minus. The V minus is really just a ground terminal for the 24 volts. For the connection to the Pokies 57 CNC controllers 24 volt terminals, I will be using ferrules on the ends of the wires since they're relatively easy to do for this demonstration. 
connect the red wire to the 24 volt positive connection and the black wire to the negative 24 volt connection. If this connection is reversed, where the ground is going into the positive and the, the V plus is going to the, the negative terminal, it will destroy the board if power is applied and connected in this way. Now I'm going to connect the live neutral and earth wires using a standard extension cord with these three wires, which typically comes with a three prong electrical cord. Connect the black wire to the L or live terminal. Connect the white wire to the neutral or N terminal and connect the green to the protective earth terminal. Now I'm going to plug in the computer to the controller using a USB cable. I'll plug in the 24 volt 1 amp power supply and check the LED status. The LED on the right should be blinking and the two other LEDs should be constantly on. Open up the Bluetooth and other device settings and ensure that Windows installed the correct driver for the Pokies 57CNC controller when it was plugged into the USB port. When the Pokies configuration and Poblox was installed, two shortcuts should have been installed on the desktop. I'm going to start the one that simply says Pokies. When you start it, a What's New dialog box will be presented. You can take a look at that if you want. The first thing you want to do is select the device. A main dialog will be presented to do this. If you only have one Pokies 57 CNC plugged in, it'll only show you one line item. You may notice that the firmware version is different from what's actually available. When you establish a connection, you'll have an opportunity to update the firmware. Press the connect button and if you'd like to update the firmware, press yes. The program will update the firmware and once the update is successful, go ahead and press the OK button and reconnect to the Pokies device. Now the main dialog for this program can be used. The only thing you're going to need to do at this point is to configure the USB interface. You'll have a dialog box that allows you to enable or disable the, the HID or human interface device and the fast communication. If you find that communication seems to be slow or there is some jerkiness to the motors when you run them, go back to this program and uncheck the HID options. I'm going to reset the board by unplugging it and then plugging it back in. That includes the power and the connection to the computer. So I can establish communication between the controller and Mach 4. When you installed Mach 4, a shortcut icon should have been installed on the desktop. It'll show a loader or a profiles dialog box. Select the appropriate profile and if the Pokies controller is plugged in, you'll see a dialog that asks you to open Add New Device. Click on the Open Add New Device wizard. Make sure the correct Pokies 57CNC card is selected. The number that you see there is actually the ID of the card, and every Pokies CNC controller has its own ID. So if you replace the controller that you have, with a new one, uh, you'll have to delete this particular configuration by deleting that Pokies 57 CNC line item with the old ID and reinstall the new Pokies 57 CNC controller, which will have a new ID. Press next to get into some initial setup. The wizard wants to know if you're going to be using the post step drivers or another type of driver. In this demonstration, I'll be using a standard modular driver and not the post step simply to show how this type of controller can be connected to a standard modular driver. In later videos, I'll show the connection between this controller and the post-step drivers. Since I'm not using a charge pump or using an LCD or PO pendant, I will keep those unchecked. Now the wizard wants to know how you're going to set up the machine in terms of limit switches. If you already know this part, go ahead and select it, but for this demonstration, I'm going to select none. But I will be showing how to, how to connect the limit switches in a later video. This is also a good place to specify whether the emergency switch will be in the normally closed or normally open configuration. Click Finish and you'll see a message box that the device has been added successfully. You'll need to restart Mach 4. And when you press OK, it'll give you the opportunity to enter the configuration for the controller. You can take a look around 
Um, but it's best to restart the Mach 4 program and go into the configuration if you need to after Mach 4 has been restarted. Okay, let's restart Mach 4 and go into the profile selection, select your profile. You'll notice that the status is clear e-stop when you first start. And in this, in this case, I don't have an emergency stop switch connected to the Pokey's 57 CNC controller. So let's go into the configuration and fix that. Click on configure, plugins, and Pokey's plugin. Select the specific Pokey's 57 CNC plugin to configure. Click on the configure button to get into the configuration for the Pokey's controller. And click on the Pulse Engine page tab at the top of the screen. You'll see a checkbox labeled Invert Emergency Stop Input. That's just going to trick the controller into thinking that it does have an e-stop connected. Now if you press the Enable, that button will turn into a Disable and the status will now show the e-stop is cleared. Once you install an emergency stop switch, you can go back to the Pulse Engine page and uncheck the Invert e-stop. The next video in the series, I will connect a single driver and motor to the controller, configure Mach 4 and the Pokies device, and test the motor. Thank you for watching.